Uh, hello everyone, welcome back, and today we're looking at the Maxpedition Kodiak Gear Slinger. The pack has a capacity of about 1100 cubic inches. Has the a main compartment here, small external compartment, larger external compartment, and a compartment for a water bladder here. It opens up like that. Put your water bladder inside of there. It's got a Velcro enclosure, Velcro on the inside of it for you to put stuff. And then the water bladder, top of the water bladder comes out here, through there. Then you run it through the straps and down. The reason why I wanted this pack was a lightweight, warm to hot weather, overnight camping hiking bag. Something that I could pack up, take out on a camping trip for overnight, but only for warm weather, hot weather, or if I'm going to be going on a fishing trip for all day, just something where I'm planning for all day or those overnight, lightweight overnight trips. Let's start out with the top of the pack. We've got the classic Maxpedition. I don't know what you'd call it, Y. I guess you'd call it like a Y attachment or Y strap. You got the small external pouch. This is where I keep stuff that I'm going to need on every rest break or just about every rest break. You're going to need your topographical map. Got another one. Whoop, GPS just fell out. Got my little GPS, topographical map, map compass. And I usually I like to carry two compasses with me, but I just have one in there for right now. And then we have bug spray. And bug spray is excellent for keeping ticks off of you whenever you stop. On this larger outside compartment, this is where I've got water filter, first aid kit. So whenever I stop for a rest break next to a creek or stream, I'm able to access my water filter quickly. Fill up my water bottle. And I've got the, the first aid kit, the homemade first aid kit. This is the kind of stuff that you think that you may need first whenever you're out on a trip. Somebody injures yourself, they need quick access to the first aid kit. You don't want to be digging through the main compartment of your pack whenever it comes time to fill up your water bottle. Let's open up this main compartment and take a look at it. Look at that. Oh. Notice that the zipper stops even with the strap. Opens up nicely so you get access to your stuff. I've got my rain poncho right there. Uh, sometimes during here in East Texas we get a lot of thermal cooling thunderstorms so where it gets real hot during the day and the thunderstorm will erupt with little, almost little to no notice. So I keep like to keep my rain poncho handy. I've got my hammock and a couple of MREs. Well, these are Eversafe meals. These are Eversafe meals. Now, a couple of, let's see, what do we have in here? We've just got some rope for putting up a shelter. I need to organize that a little bit better. A guy on the website posted uh, instructions on how to make a donut out of 550 cord. So I'm going to see if I can do the same thing, but with nylon rope. One of the nice little touches that they added to this pack is the this emergency whistle right here. It's that whenever you're lost out in the woods, you can make your throat hoarse by yelling and yelling and nobody hear you. But that whistle right there, it's nice to have a little built-in emergency whistle with you at all times. Here on the side of the pack, you've got the PALS ladder system where you can attach extra stuff. You've got the system, the webbing here on the waist belt where you can attach stuff. Got it on the back side. You can attach extra stuff, map cases, water bottle cases, just anything else. On the side of the pack, you have a pouch for a 32 ounce water bottle. So depending on what size, hydration bladder you put inside of here you could have say a 96 ounce hydration bladder plus another 32 ounces for the water bottle I don't know whether it's just me 
whether my my standards or whatever my expectations whatever you want to call it but I was hoping I was really hoping that the pack would have some type of webbing on the bottom of it that's just something that I look for in a pack I like to have webbing I like to have the ability to attach something to the bottom even though the pack may not be designed to have stuff attached to it here I like to I like to be able to attach stuff all over my pack I'm talking I want to be able to put anything and everything wherever I want if I want to strap a kitchen sink to, to it then I should then the webbing should be there for me to be able to rig something up to, to bungee cord it down strap it down super glue it down whatever it is but without webbing it's a little difficult to do that what I whenever I first got this pack I had plans on attaching a like a sleeping bag or a bedroll on the bottom of it and without the webbing it's gonna be a little difficult to do that I had an, intended just to take a fleece sleeping bag and being able to strap it right to the bottom of the pack now see that that's good little proportion the, the sleep the fleece sleeping bag this is doubled over does not stick out too far past the sides of the pack so if I had some webbing right there and you stop the zipper up in here right there in that in that tangent line or where the middle of the arc right there say right there just stop stop the zipper right there and the tangent line for y'all that don't know what a tangent line is it's where a straight line intersects a circle or intersects an arc that's the tangent line so if you were to move that end of the zipper up here to the tangent line of where that straight stops right there and put some webbing right here and right there it would have increased the of how I don't know the adaptation of the pack of how well it can adapt and be used by being able to strap something here on the bottom so instead of having instead of being able to put a bedroll down here in the bottom I'm gonna have to probably move it up here on the top something like that cinch it down like that but whenever you start doing that then you start pulling this on an arc whenever you apply pressure here it pulls the top of the pack it pulls the top of the pack backwards so you wind you wind up with a with a pack that is arched not to the contour of your back so if you if you move the sleeping pad up here and, and strap it down another option would be just to take this Y strap off and run some straps through here consider how that pack came back to its natural natural shape another thing would be to run some straps through here take this Y strap off and put it up here something like that and go around the top of it without having to bring the pack all the way down there and, and, and pull it back I mean I'm just brainstorming I'm just thinking out loud one of the, several things about this pack that I like is the padded grab handle the paracord for a 550 cord and it's already been melted for the zipper pulls so if you're wearing gloves it's easy to grab the zipper pulls it's got another grab handle here on the side nice padded back the shoulder strap has got lots of padding on it let's get some measurements this thing is about 18 inches long let's measure to the outside of the water bottle say about 14 inches wide and about eight about eight or so inches eight and a half inches deep 